Hello, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and this tutorial is about WooCommerce attributes and variations. And what I mean is, a lot of people are wondering how to get their attributes and their variations to work. And so, if something has an attribute, it'll have this select options, otherwise it'll just be add to cart, which means that it only comes in this one price and one thing, and then you can change the quantity. But if you have different quantity, like let's say different packages, a package of 25, a package of 50, a package of 100, you would have attributes. And so you would have, and to illustrate this a little bit better, is you would want this little drop down to appear to where you can choose a quantity of like 25 or 50. And then you, the customer would select uh, add to cart, and then it would have the, the special prices for that particular package. And then they would be able to, of course, check out. And with the, uh, uh, the price list and everything that that has on it. And so I'm going to show you how to do the variations and have them uh, done accordingly. So if we go to our dashboard here, and we go down to where it says products and you see where it says attributes here now I already have these two in here uh, the 25 and the 50 and I had another name color but let's say that we wanted another attribute attribute and let's let's call it size just so you can see how this is done and we'll call the slug size to size as well and then we're gonna have it all lowercase the type we're gonna select is text and we have custom ordering as a default order. You can choose name or ID. But then we're going to click add attribute. Okay. So we here we see that we have one called quantity, color, and size. Okay. Now the quantity we have 2550. Now if it was different colors, you could add that put your terms in here. So let me go ahead and configure these terms under color so you could just see. Maybe we'll have one that's red. We'll make the slug red and then the description I'm just going to call red and we'll put add new color maybe we'll have a blue one so I'll put blue here blue here and then blue again down here and then select add new color okay maybe we'll have a green one G-R-E-N G-R-E-N and G-R-E-N now you can have it this as a uh, a child of one of these other ones but if you need to but I don't know why you would so now we have the, this attribute set up with these different uh, terms in there you see this first one we have quantities here we have blue red green and maybe size we'll go ahead and configure the terms on here so I could just once again show you how to do it maybe we have a small okay small small and click add new size medium M E D I U M. I'm gonna co start copy and paste and make it make the process a little faster. How about it? Okay. So this is very important that you get this, and and maybe I'll do a large one too. L A R G E. Copy large L A R G E. I just want to make sure that I cover all the points for you folks, so that you, you're not gonna. Be like, hey, what's that? So now we have we have this attribute. Now I'm going to click attributes once again to make sure our terms are in there, and we have large, medium, and small. Okay. So now that you have that, the first thing you have to do is add the attribute, and that's going to be the main name of the choice. Okay. So if we go here to select options for for, for this, we see that our option is quantity. If it was if it was one of these other attributes, color or size, that's where this would appear here. Color or size, okay? So now let's go to our product and I'm going to use a little shortcut here for WordPress. I'm going to hit control on my keyboard and click edit product with my mouse, left click, and it'll bring me straight to here. So if, as we scroll down here, we'll see some things here. And this is where we want to focus your attention. You see, I already have the quantity. Now, this you see this little uh, arrow down? That's to click the toggle. Of course, we could remove it. 
Now, <clears throat> we see that we already have the quantities 25 and 50. Now, let's say that we wanted to add one of our other attributes. What we would do is if click this drop down here, let's see that, that we wanted to add color. Okay, we can do that and we click add. And we could give it uh, different values, okay, the, you know, other than, than the ones we already had. But we'll just go ahead and click Save Attributes, okay. Now, if we wanted to give it different values, you notice we'll, we would separate them with this. And maybe we'll have brown, and then um, that, by the way, is by the backslash. If you hit Shift and then hit it, and then maybe purple, P-R-P-L-E. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click Save Attributes. And we just added two more values besides the ones that were already in there, okay, under Color. Now, what we need to do is we need to be able to put a price with these different values, right? And so that's where we go down here to the variations of, for the product, okay? Now, you can see I have already have the quantities toggled. I'm going to close these up to avoid confusion. And do you see where a default selection is? That's where we, I, we would add the different quantities. Now, I'm going to add a different variation to the product. And the, this one is going to be the color. So, what we'll have is the brown one. And let's say that the stock quantity is 800. Okay. And maybe the price is 999. Okay. Maybe we might have a sell price on it for 888. Okay. Now you could give the weight and the dimensions and, and all that other stuff. Now if this was a downloadable product, you know, you could click downloadable and then you would get this kind of thing up here. And what this is, is uh, let's say that you were selling songs or MP3s or videos. This is where you would upload a file, but we're not doing that, so I'm not going to uh, elaborate on that much. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And if it was a virtual product, you would click this. Okay. So, uh, let me add another variation to the product, and purple was the other one that we were talking about. Maybe we have uh, 700 of them in stock, and maybe we'll, we'll charge $11.99, but the sale price will be $9.99 for the purple one, okay? All right, so that's how we would do that. And if you had a picture of the different products, you know, of the different variations, you would put them in here. But I don't have a picture right away, but that's where you would put that. And this is where you would put your SKU numbers. Now I'm going to click Update the Product. Okay. And I'm going to hit my control on my keyboard and click View Product. Make it faster. Now you see we have the quantity, 25, and then the color, purple. And we see that we have it in stock. Now I got to do a little bit of editing on the CSS because the text is white as well as the background so you can't see that so that's why I highlighted that with my mouse so that's something I'll have to do as a developer. Now <clears> that <throat> people can change the quantities by clicking up and down or left and right here and then just click add to cart. And now it's in their cart they're all ready to check out. Now that's how you add the different uh, values and the and uh, the attributes and the variations to the WooCommerce theme in WordPress. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope you were able to benefit from this video. If you need any help, don't hesitate to contact me at my website, a1websitepro.com. I'd be glad to help.